Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be working on Fusion 360. And what I'm going to show you is how to import STL files into Fusion and we're then going to convert the STL file to a boundary representation or a BREP so that we can edit it inside of Fusion 360. So the first thing we're going to do is insert a STL file and we can do that by going to the insert menu at the top on the toolbar and we want to select insert mesh. And I'm going to use an existing model that I used in a recent video. So this is a, a mod that I created for my Prusa Mark III. If you're interested in what I did, you can click the video here and you'll learn more about it. But for now, we're just going to focus on the model. So when you select the model you want to import, you'll see this menu on the right and it'll ask you to select your unit type. I want to be selecting millimeters in this case because that's the dimensions that I used. So you just want to hit OK. And what you'll see is that you've got this purp uh, pinky purpley kind of model in your workspace. And this means that we're dealing with a mesh body. Now a mesh body is not that useful uh, in terms of editing because an STL file is basically made up of triangles and it can be quite limited in terms of you know, making edits and smoothing curves and things like that. So what we're going to do is convert this to a boundary representation or a BREP which is much better to work with in Fusion 360. So the first thing we need to do is turn off our uh, capture design history. So on the bottom here the timeline in order to convert from an STL to a BREP we have to disable it. So on our component up, up in the top left we want to right click and hit do not capture design history and don't worry you can turn this back on but for now we need to disable it. So what we can do now is under bodies, you'll see mesh body. So we want to right click and we'll see an option here that says mesh to BREP. Now, if you don't see that here, go up to modify on the toolbar, come down to mesh and you'll see mesh to BREP there. So you want to click that. And again, you'll see a little menu on the right. You want to select the body, hit okay. And you should now see it convert to a BREP and you can see it's a nice gray color and basically this just allows us to make cleaner edits inside of fusion so just as an example of how we can edit it i'm going to show you i'm going to create a sketch for example and we're just going to do it here on this surface and i'm basically just going to add a two point circle a center diameter circle sorry and what we're going to do is add some dimensions just so that we have some references for our design. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is to extrude from a pre-existing model. So if we go to create, extrude, we can select that circle and we can just pull it straight out like this. So let's say we were happy with that. You can see that that's, you know, extruded straight off the original STL model. And we can even, if we want, add some fillets in there and it'll nicely smooth it off with the pre-existing model. So if I make this say 5 mil, you can see that we've got a nice fillet there and it looks really nice. So that's basically it. Uh, I hope you found this useful. There's a lot you can do with Fusion 360 and I'm currently actually putting together a course for Fusion 360, sort of basic design skills. And if you want to learn more about that, there'll be a link in the description below where you can sign up to my newsletter and you'll be notified when I release that course. It will be a paid course, but it's it's got some really rich content and it's well worth it if you want to get serious about 3D modeling and 3D printing. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you that subscribe and watch my videos. It means a lot. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos. And please leave a thumbs up on this video if you found it useful. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below where you can do that. But it's up to you. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of these. And I hope you have an awesome day.